in this video, I'm going to show you why Wesley runs the best offense in Madden 21, exactly how he does it, and what you can learn from his game against Drini right now. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the YouTube channel here, what I do is I break down how to get better at Madden 21 through tips through strategies through studying the best players in the game I upload daily videos as well as stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time So make sure to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen Now if you guys did not get a chance to watch this full game between Drini and Wesley I would highly encourage you to go back and take a look at it um, It was an awesome game and to be honest with you uh, I felt like Drini played a really really good defensive game Game, but this play that you're just seeing right here was ultimately Wesley's best play in my opinion and it's probably one of the best plays in the game right now so I wanted to break it down for you um, it's out the Carolina gun bunch which is Wesley's preferred way to run gun bunch and we're gonna talk a little bit about it and uh, and jump right in here so this is uh, full uh, full scheme for the bunch offset formation in the Carolina playbook is what Wesley runs. Now, I actually have a breakdown of the entire gun bunch offset in my text message membership, which is completely free for you to access. Literally, all you have to do is just send me a personal text message. My phone number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. The play we're going to be going over is really two plays. The first one is spacing switch, which I felt like one of the ways that he ran this was I thought really, really effective. Just as a simple little change of pace play. But also I felt like he ran this Z spot play at a really high level as well. So we're going to go over the uh, Z spot and go. This was the play that you saw uh, recently on the screen and was also a very effective play for multiple players in this game. Now, as a general rule, what people like to do whenever they run gun bunch is they like to run the three wide receivers to the left or to the wide side of the field. So if I was on the left hash, then I would run the bunch as is. But if I was on the right hash, I would flip the offense. So we're going to show it to you from the left hash so we don't have to flip anything. But I just want to show you this route to Chris Godwin. You see that this is a very sharp corner route. And this year, better more than any other year, it's really, really popular to smart route these routes. You see that it's going to turn it into effectively a five-yard slant out that will just run over the top of a lot of zone coverages. So first and foremost, the first thing we want to do is smart route Chris Godwin. The second thing that we want to do is we want to take Gronkowski, our tight end, and either put him on a delay fade or go ahead and streak him right up the seam. The last step that I, or a couple other things that I like to do on this and what Wesley was showing was a simple out route to Antonio Brown. This out route was really served as um, a way to pull zones down and also a way to, if they didn't have hard flats on the field, for you to be able to attack them um, in the short flats. And then the last uh, couple steps here, we we're going to block the running back and then we're going to take this uh, wide receiver here on the left and simply run him on either a drag route or an in breaking pattern, just like this. And this is actually primarily where a lot of the best bunch players, including Wesley, would put Deion Sanders. The out-of-position Deion Sanders muck card will allow you to get playmaker on him, and you could basically playmaker that in route all over the place. But for the purpose of this video, just want to show you the routes as is, and really just want to focus in on this route to Chris Godwin. Now, um, you'll see that if you you see that it does get fairly good separation. The one thing I want you to understand about this is in mud, a lot of these receivers have over 90 deep route running. And when you have over 90 deep route running, it's really going to make a big difference. As you see right there, if I don't have over 90 deep route running, uh, which Godwin even has slotomatic and still is not going to be effective. But let me show you another version of this that I actually really like as well, and that's the curl flat play. Now, we're going to run it exactly the same with all the same adjustments, but you'll see that the corner route, if they run it against man, uh, I believe this one actually gets over the, over the defense a little bit better. So that's just my personal opinion, but a lot of these guys like to run Z-spot and go. So uh, we'll break that down as well. But the beauty of this is against man coverage, you're really going to look for uh, Chris Godwin. The other read that you can get against man, as long as Antonio Brown doesn't get pressed, he will actually tend to beat man, especially if he has good route running. But really the beautiful 
part of this play really comes against cover three Mabel. A lot of people like to run cover three Mabel against uh, different types of offenses this year. Uh, in particular, the gun bunch, uh, you're going to see a lot of cover three Mabel. So we're going to run that same route concept. But what you'll notice is Chris Godwin on this route is going to just simply run over the top of the defense. Now, as you notice, you saw that the outside third is actually going to play him, but the way that a lot of people run their defenses right now, specifically from like a cover three type of scenario, is they're going to simply put both of their outside corners in deep halves before they put those hard flats out there. It's one of the most popular ways to run cover three is that they're going to play deep halves. Well, this in particular corner route, this very special route right here, does a really, really good job at beating that. You see here, I can simply pass lead this up, and as you see, I can basically swerve catch it on the sideline. Now, this same concept is actually going to work really, really well against the cover two defense. You might have recalled that one of the ways that Dat Boy shut down Blocky's uh, gun bunch offense was running a lot of cover two in combination with that cover three Mabel. Well, this kind of beats both of them. And Blocky didn't go to this setup one time against Dat Boy, but as you can see there, it does a really, really good job. It beats cover two, it beats cover three um, as, as far as cover three invert. Now, what I want to show you is what it does uh, against some of the other defenses, the popular defenses that you're going to see. And it's going to lead me to my next play that I want to discuss um, if we have time here. So what you're going to notice is against cover four, you're going to see that you can get this on the outside. As you see right there, you can wait. If you can wait on it, you can get that out on the outside. But it's not super, super clean. And the same thing for cover three sky. If they don't put... Um, if they don't have the, the deep halves out there, if they're using outside thirds on their corners... They're go you can kind of get this in, but it's really not a great look. So this is where Wesley would start to go to some of these other setups like Spacing Switch. And really simply, his setup was honestly one of the most simple things in the world, but very, very effective. He simply took the running back and put him on a little flat route, took Antonio Brown, put him on a curl, blocked his tight end, and then had Chris Godwin on an out route. You could also do the same thing. Just flip the receivers as well if you wanted to. But this setup right here was really what he ran. And what you'll notice is against that cover three sky drop, not only do you have these quick flats, which if they're not playing cover three Mabel that you can hit, the other thing that this starts to open up really nicely for your offense is if they start running a lot of cover three on you, uh, and in particular cover three Mabel, right? Because that's what they might, that's what they're going to probably get, potentially go do. When you run this setup right here, you're going to notice that these curl routes are going to become wide open. It's darn near impossible for them to use or both of them. So you're just going to pick the open curl route. So that is how Wesley runs the bunch offset, at least a couple of his key plays. If you want to get my full gun bunch offset breakdown, it's in my text membership. Literally all you got to do is text me. My number is 812-216-3644. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on tonight's live stream.